Hey guys, you're watching No Fear Cooking with Aru, and um, this is episode three. Today we're going to do um, a bean dish with mincemeat. That's ground beef. All right, about 400 grams of ground ground beef. All right, and we're going to put in uh, what, what else we've got here is we've got um, a mixture of capsicum and tomatoes with onion, and that's basically that's from out of a can. See, what I'm doing today, I'm just going to use whatever's in my cupboard. And I know a lot of times you got to go out and get some stuff, but I like to keep beans, tomatoes, uh, corn, um, you know, just canned goods in the cupboard because sometimes, like you know, you don't feel like you know, cooking majorly. So today I don't feel like cooking at all. So, but we had some ground beef there, we had some beans, so I'm just going to do a quick dish. All right. So what we got here is cannelli, cannellini, cannellini beans. All right. Or you can use butter beans. Okay. Uh, so a bit of protein and what else I had was there was that um, I didn't have any whole kernel corn but I did have some cream corn so what I've done is run it through a shiv run through water through it now it's just a, it come, ends up with half a can okay so that's half a can of that a can of cannellini I've got two tables um, two teaspoons of um, paprika you know I love paprika okay two cloves of garlic ch roughly chopped don't want to ground just want a bit of texture to this dish and I've got about a quarter of a Cut of a red onion, and I love red onion. We've stopped using white onion because it's just red onion's got a nice and sweet taste to it. Okay, we've got half a teaspoon or a quarter of a teaspoon, depending how how hot you want it, of flaked um, chili flakes. So you can see that at the bottom there. There you go. Now the other thing we're going to have to use some beer sticks. You can use chorizos. It'll be nice, It'll be nice and hot chorizos. Okay, this is one of them. I'm about to chop the other one. Show you how you do it. Just slice along it, just like so. All right. So you get long slices down the length of it. This one's a bit toughy. All right, so there's just normal beer stick. This one. Okay. So what we're going to do is take the flap, okay, and slice it side to side. Okay. So you end up with something like that. Okay. Make it smaller or make it longer up to you. But you still want a bit of texture to this. What it's going to do is going to give it a smoky taste to the dish. And I put, like I said, I put a bit, um, I put a bit of salt with the, with the mist, just to give it a bit of time to just get the flavour through it. A bit of salt in there. All right, just finishing off the sausages here. Like I said, you can use pepper sticks, um, beer sticks, chorizos, just something to give a bit of texture to your meat. Otherwise, you're just going to have a lot of um, just soft meat in there. Okay. There we go, that's your two sausages, beer sticks, about that big, about 15 centimeters. Alright, the other ingredient we're going to use today is hot chili sauce. Alright, this is a bit sweet, we don't want it too hot. I know I don't like eating hot food too much. Alright, so, otherwise you're going to sort of stomach. Okay, so this is sweet and hot. Alright. Alright guys, I've got my oil heating up in the stove here. I've got, basically I've got um, about three tablespoons. We want it to be nice and... Um, you know, a lot of oil in there because we, we don't want the meat to stick. Okay, so what we're going to do, I've got it on high, I've got rice bran oil, you guys can use olive if you want, or vegetable oil, whatever it comes. Add a little bit at a time, because we don't want it to um, basically you know, get all stuck together. Now you can put more oil in if you think it's necessary. Got the steam coming off it. Okay, like I said, add a little bit as you go along. Okay, so basically, it's a bit of brown, a bit of red in there at the moment because we're just caught it, getting it cooked slowly. And because it's in a wok, you can move. Move the meat to the side that's, um, that's partially cooked and leave the um, uncooked ones in the middle and keep working on those ones. The good thing about using a wok, everything you can get cooked to the right um, right amount or right level. So you're not having like fully cooked meat and then you're having like half cooked meat. Alright. There we go. Bit more in. In the middle. Okay. Should look something like this. 
All right, so you got your raw meat you just chucked in and the cooked meat on the side. Okay, give it a, give it a nice little mix around so that everything's in the same level of heat. All right, here we go. How easy was that? Now you've got that at the same. All right, some little, some little um, big pieces, um, some big pieces here, so just you know, push down and get rid of it. Okay, now we're in the middle here, make a well. So all you got there is um, your oil and your fat mixture from the meat. Okay, add in your onions. All right, your roughly chopped onions, little dices, cook those off. Okay, next to go in, we shall put in the garlic. Okay. Get it all in there. Okay. So that's what it should look like. Cook that off. At the moment, you want to just get it partially cooked, alright? Because you want to just try to get it to uh, flavor the, um, just get the garlic and onion taste in there. Remember, it's red onions, so it's going to be nice and sweet at the moment. Okay, mix it in, fry it up large, try to burn off all any moisture that's in the meat and in the onions. Alright, and we're going to let it cook a little while, just keep mixing it around a bit. Okay. 